act proud and I'll act prouder. You sing loud and I'll sing louder. Tonight we're setting the woods on fire. You're my gal and I'm your fella. Dress up in your frock of yeller. I look swell, but you look sweller. Setting the woods on fire. We're taking all the honky tonks. Tonight we're having fun. We'll show the folks a brand new dance that never has been done. I don't care who thinks we're silly. You be daffy, I'll be dilly. We'll order up two bowls of chili, setting the woods on fire. I'll gas up my hot rod stokers. We'll get hotter than a poker. You'll be broke, but I'll be broker. Tonight we're setting the woods on fire. We'll sit close to one another. Up one street and down the other. Will we have a time, old brother? Setting the woods on fire. We'll put aside a little time. I used to get a real kick out of hearing my own songs on the radio. God, I'm feeling poorly. I just can't stand to be cooped up like this. Yes, sir, folks, that was Hank Williams, the king of country music with another number one hit. King of country music. I wished I didn't have to play that big arena in Ohio tomorrow night. Tonight's the night I should be up on some stage somewhere. Yeah, some nice little place like, like one of them bars we're driving right on past. <laughs> Lately, I've been going up on them stages and pretending. But tonight, you know, I could say it right. The boys can be there and somebody would have a fiddle. A good old Saturday night band. We could have the best damn New Year's Eve party anybody ever saw. Yeah. If and that's the way you feel about it, you can just have your ring back. And I tell you, he sure was shocked. Thank you very much. Right along about now, I guess the boys be warming up the crowd with Why Don't You Love Me Like You Used To Do. Well, why don't you love me like you used to do? Why do you treat me like a worn out shoe? My hair's still curly and my eyes are still blue. So why don't you love me like you used to do? Excuse me. 
He's a lot taller than I thought he'd be. Oh, I've never seen anyone in person before. Looks pretty ordinary to me. Ladies and gentlemen, right now we're proud to introduce you to the finest country gentleman of all time. Star of radio, recordings, and personal appearances. And the writer and singer of such great songs as Your Cheating Heart. Hey, good looking. So long to my contrived many others. From Georgia and Alabama, ladies and gentlemen, I love to be sick. Hey, Lick, here's a mighty fine hall y'all got here. Yes, sir. Well, for uh, them that don't know, my name is Hank Williams, and I'm here to. And uh, I'm here tonight to sing some songs for you. So y'all just uh, settle back there. We're going to have ourselves a good time. Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Well, you only got about an hour left. But, uh, you know, I, for one, I won't be too sad to see 1952 go on by. I can see a whole lot of changes coming down the road for 1953. Well, we're going to have a new administration up there in Washington. Inauguration day for old Ike and Richard Nixon coming up any time now. That's right. And, uh, well, maybe this year our boys are finally going to win that war over in Korea. It'd be nice to get that mess all cleaned up. And have our boys back here with their loved ones. Wouldn't that be nice? And, and uh, well, maybe this year the, the Dodgers are finally going to beat them damn New York Yankees in the World Series. Of course, uh, looking into uh, a New Year's can be well, scary sometimes, too. I don't know what it is, but, uh, I don't know, sometimes I just kind of get a feeling that, uh, well, there's something coming down, something coming down the road of me or something like that. I just don't know. I don't know what it is. Come on, boy, play some music. That's what people want to hear. I mean, that's what they paid their money for. One, two, three. Thank you. Lord, I love to hear her when she calls me sweet and hey, 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 hey,
hate to think it all up I've lost my heart at sea What's the matter with me? Yes, I'm in love, I'm in love with a beautiful gal, but she don't care about me. Lord, I tried and I tried to keep her satisfied, but she just wouldn't stay. So now that she is leaving, this is all that I can say. I got a feeling all the blue. Oh, Lord, since I to say goodbye. She'll do me, she'll do you, she's got that kind of loving. Lord, I love to hear you when she calls me sweet and gay. Yeah, 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 it's such a beautiful dream. I hate to think it all over. I've lost my heart, it seems. And I've grown so used to you somehow. Well, I'm loved by the sugar daddy now, and I'm loved. Some would say that ain't much of a song, but I mean, it's done all right by me so far. <laughs> it's made me $34,000. <laughs> I remember one time this fella come up to me, you know, and he said, Hank, he said, I sure am getting tired of hearing you singing that stupid song all the time. Why don't you learn a new one? Well, buddy, I said, that song's done pretty good by me. Uh, you tell me what song's ever made you $34,000. I'll sing that one. I sure will. Yeah, I remember the first time I ever played up there at the Grand Old Opry. It must have been two, three years ago, I think. Sometime in 49, wasn't yeah, it? 49. 49. Well, sir, I must have got half a dozen encores. You know, they just wouldn't let me get off of that stage. Yeah. Yeah. I can't rightly really seem to get the hang of this here guitar tonight. I don't know what it is. Seems like someone went and switched the strings around on me. <laughs> Must have been when I was out having me a little glass of milk. <laughs> of course, I don't play too good the best of times. I play the way I play, is all. I remember the first time I ever heard Teddy here playing the guitar. I liked the way he played. So I asked him if he wanted to join the band. He said, oh, I could never play with you, Mr. Williams. Because the only his chords I know is C, G, and D. <laughs> I said, Teddy, that's all there is. <laughs> uh, now, I learned guitar myself, and I was no more than uh, nine or ten years old by an old Negro street singer named Rufus Payne. T-Tot, everybody called him. Fun to name that. T-Tot. But that's what they called him. And old T-Tot, he learned me everything I ever knew about guitar playing. Of course, he's dead now. He, he left us many years ago. But he uh, can't live in the past all the time. So come on, boys, let's, let's play some more tunes for these uh, folks here. I'm sure they gonna enjoy it. Thank you. Well, honey, you in the Cupid doll now. No. What, what song y'all want to hear? Collage. Collage? You heard the lady. Never turn the lady down. So she could never answer 
he swore his son to bear the and held at Tommy Hawk. The maiden wore her beef and braids and hoped someday he'd talk. Elijah, too stubborn to ever show a sign, because his heart was made of naughty pine. Elijah was a lonely Indian, never went nowhere. His heart was set on the Indian Bay with the cold black hair. Elijah just stood there and never let it show. So she could never answer yes or no. And then one day a wealthy customer bought that Indian maid and took her oh so far away that old Kalijah stayed. Elijah just stands there as lonely as can be and wishes he was still an old pine tree. Oh, I never touch the stuff. Oh, come on. Where'd you with it? Well, thank you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> it sure does look good, but, uh, you know, uh, lately I've been trying to cut down on my drinking. And you know what? I've been doing real good lately. Good for you, man. Yeah. Well, uh, at least what I've been trying. <laughs> It's funny what drink can do to a man. I don't know if any of you out there ever had one too many every once in a while. Not me. <laughs> well, I tell you, it, it kind of messes up your sense of time. Now, I remember one time, uh, Fred Rose, you know, that's the, the fellow who publishes my songs up there in Nashville. He called me on the telephone. And he said, Hank, he said, we figure it's time for you to cut a new record. I said, Fred, what's wrong with the one I done last week? Well, he kind of hemmed and hawed. Finally said, Hank, the last record you made was four months ago. Now, since that time, your version sold half a million, but Tony Bennett's version has sold two million. <laughs> well, I finally got the, you know, the, the time sequence straight in my head, but there was one little thing I could never figure out. <laughs> Just who the hell is Tony Bennett? <laughs> Well, yeah, but, you know, times has changed, and uh, I'm really trying to cut down on my drinking, because, you know, all of my buddies up there in Nashville, my good friends, they, they got big plans for me when I, when I finally get off of this road tour. Yes, sir, big plans. Just so long as I can cut down on the booze. Big plans. Them opera folks never should have fired me like that. Now, what'd they say that date was again? Well, one of these days, I'm gonna walk on out on that opera stage one of these days. Man, sure be fine. Howdy, folks. Mighty glad to be back here at the opera. Thanks be to God. And, of course, radio station WSM in the National Life and Accident Insurance Company. Well, sir, I see the opera ain't changed a whole lot since I've been away. I look over here in the wings there, and there's Ernest Tubb waiting to come on out. Sure, and there's Roy Acuff and Hank Snow and Cousin Minnie Pearl. Howdy, Hank. 
How do you, Minnie? Yeah, sure, sure is fine to be back up here. Now, if you was to ask me why I'd been away so long, this is what I'd tell you. Too many parties and too many pals will break your heart someday. Too many evenings spent out on the town will drive good fortune. Gentlemen of the jury, the judge's speech began. The scene was a crowded courtroom, and the judge was a stern old man. Now this prisoner here before you, why he's a social enemy, an outcast and a drunkard, and you know the penalty. His face reflects the nightlife, his eyes are sunk with pain. But you know, his brother, gentlemen, is a very respected man. Now, in some ways, he's not like him. And yet he might have been. If it hadn't have been for drinking buddies and fast women and gin. See, we took the nightlife off the streets, brought it into our own den. With the smiles of faithless women and the men who called themselves friends. We opened up the underworld to the ones we love so well. So tell me, gentlemen, is it right that we send him to a cell? If he drinks, why, you taught him. And if he errs, you showed him how. So I asked him. Is it right to go and condemn them now? And before you reach your verdict on what this man has done, be sure you didn't lead him down the road to the place where he stands all alone. Now, gentlemen, that's my story. My testimony stands. This man is my own brother. And the case is in your hands. Those empty friendships and frivolous hours And too many parties and too many Well, I sure will. Thank you. Thank you. Say, uh, is anybody out there baseball fans? <laughs> oh, boy, you know, that's something that I really like to do, is listen to them ball games on the radio, especially when we're driving along from town to town. I never drive myself, and I always have some other fella to do the driving. And I don't much care what ball game it is, really. I got no hometown team. I mean, when you're on the road all the time like I am, it gets so you can't even remember if you got a hometown. <laughs> but I guess, uh, guess all us drifters, you know, all the people got no team of their own, always end up rooting for them Brooklyn Dodgers, the Buns. <laughs> you know, the way my life's been going, sometimes I feel just like them Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, you remember two years ago, back in 50, when they lost the pennant in the last inning of the last game of the season? Cost me 50 bucks. And last year was the same thing. They had four to one. They're going into the ninth, and they lose it five to four. Now, this year, they did better, way better. They didn't lose till the last game of the World Series. Well, maybe next year. Now, uh, this next song is called You Win Again. Thought I forgot your request, didn't you, honey? <laughs> Well, I didn't write it for the bums, but I think tonight I'm going to dedicate it to them. To the bums 
And uh, all the bums of this world, really, all them folks always seem to end up losing right in the last inning. Take it away. The news is out all over town. There you've been seen her running round. Oh, I know that I should leave the pain. I just can't go. Such a beautiful song. It's about my most favorite, I think. Don't you think it's just wonderful, Jackie? I don't know. I kind of like Eddie Arnold better. Oh, thank you. Well, babe, all I got left in this world is a wife and you. Sometimes I wish I only had you. You were so pretty. Sounds so sweet. And you never talk mean to me. And I'm sorry for your victim now. For soon as hell, like mine will bow, he'll give his heart. But all in vain. And someday say you win again Cause you have no heart You have no shame It takes in love And give a blame Oh, I guess that I Should not come Hey, you and again, that's about as, as true as I can write it, you know. I, I always write my songs about what's happening to me. See, when I say I got the blues, who we? <laughs> you better believe it, boy. I mean, I could get the blues better than any man alive. <laughs> I mean, if you woman ain't left you alone, then you wishing that she would. Well, like my new wife, name of Billie Jean. God, I love her. Well, I loved her so much, I married her three times. <laughs> Well, two times on the stage at the New Orleans Municipal Auditorium. But now that we're all hitched up real good and probably why, she can be mean and ornery sometimes, though. She calls it taking care of me. <laughs> For instance, she's always smashing my bottles. I mean, how's a man to live without he's got a bottle or two around the house? <laughs> the other night I come home, I seen her pouring a bottle of the best Jim Beam right down the toilet. <laughs> I only kept it around for my back pain anyways. <laughs> she even found a bottle I had hidden in my old pair of cowboy boots. And, and the one I had taped inside of my guitar. <laughs> and the little bitty one I had hidden the radio there and with the tubes and, and the wires and such. All on account that she couldn't get Wheeling, West Virginia, WWVA real good. So she had to go look inside of it. Just plain, mean, and ornery. Everybody gets what they deserve in this life. Now, sometimes it don't look like that, but things ain't always like the scene. Now, Billie Jean, she's my second wife. Well, you take my first wife, Audrey. Oh, you people are lucky you never met her. <laughs> well, I loved her better than any man ought to love any woman. Now she's got my house, my money, my kid, and my heart. Ask me if I still love them. I used to be. Why? Well, I'll lie and say no. The day I passed you on the street, and my heart fell at your feet. I can't help you if I'm still in love. 
with you Somebody else was by your side And he looked so satisfied I can't help you if I'm still in love with you A picture from the past came slowly stealing As I brushed your arm and walked so close to you And suddenly I got that old time feeling I can't help it if I'm still in love with you got everything right I mean she made me miserable and still ended up with everything but I figure I'm still gonna win out in the long run because you see in a hundred years from now if uh, people still listen to my records God with them are they gonna know everything there is to know about that woman and me because I wrote it all down right from the start I guess when you look at all them songs in order you know it's, it's kind of like uh, well a play that you y'all might read in the book well, here, I'll play act for you. Now, act one, that's when you're still hoping. Well, you know how it is. You see a pretty little gal walking down the street, and the uh, only thing you can say is something like this. Say, hey, say, what you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Say, hey. Hey, don't you think, baby, we can find us a brand new recipe? A little hot rod full and a two dollar bill, and I know spot right over the hill. They got soda pop and the dance is free, so if you want to head come come along with me, say, hey, say, what you got cooking? How's about cooking something out with me? And then things start to look like they're really going to work out. Well, I met my future bride to be, and her name is Cassie May. Rudy Tootie. Rudy Tootie. Oh, Rudy Tootie. Rudy Tootie. Yeah, Rudy Tootie. She's my Sunday gal. Well, she's got pretty eyes of blue, and she thinks I'm pretty too. A wicky wacky, Rudy Tootie. Oh, Rudy Tootie. Rudy Tootie. Yeah, Rudy Tootie, she's my Monday gal. Well, you should see the people stare when she walks across the square. Bouncy, bouncy, Rudy Oh, upsy dizzy. Rudy yeah, Rudy Tootie, she's my Tuesday gal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Then comes act two, and that's when you start to see the way it really is. If you love me half as much as I love you, oh, you wouldn't worry me half as much as you do. You're nice to me when there's no one else around. You always build me up to let me down. If you miss me half as much as I missed you, all you will stay away half as much as you do. I know that I would never be this blue. If you only love me half as much as I love you And then finally you see that woman for what she really is Your cheek You make you weak You cry and cry You try to sleep But sleep won't come the whole night through your cheating heart will tell on you when tears come down like falling rain you toss around and call my name you'll walk the floor the way No, my wife. And then comes Act Three. That's when they ain't no more. And uh, well, you just keep hoping that the curtain's gonna fall. You know, it's funny, but that's that's the kind of song that you can't lose. I mean. The ones that stay with you. The, the, the songs that you write when you're all alone again. We met in the springtime when blossoms unfold. The pastures were green and the meadows were gold. Her love was in flower as summer grew on. Her love, like the leaves, now has withered and gone. The roses have faded, there's frost at my door. The birds in the morning don't sing anymore. The grass in the valley has started to die. And out in the darkness, the whippoorwill cries. Alone and forsaken by fate and by man. Oh, Lord, if you hear me, please hold to my hand. Oh, please understand. Oh, where has she gone to? Oh, where can she be? She may have forsaken some other like me she promised to honor to love and obey each vow was a pulley thing that she threw away the darkness has fallen the sky has turned gray a hound in the distance has started to bay I wonder, I wonder what she's thinking of Forsaken, forgotten, without any love Alone and forsaken by fate and by man Oh, Lord, if you hear me, please hold to my hand Oh, please understand 
funny how it always seems to turn out the same way every single time. Hi. Don't you remember me? Oh, yeah. Of course I remember you. Yes, you lady. Ah. Some dressing room they got for us here, huh? It's like home. Good looking women out there tonight, though, boy. Mm. You see that pretty little gal sitting up front? <clears throat> Whew. Well, boys, before we go any further, I just want to tell you that the waitress is mine. But uh, I brought you a little something for my private collection as a sort of a consolation prize. Mighty fine, mighty fine. Have a look at that. My, my, my. Oh, God, I'm pushed. Oh. Feels good to get these boots off, I tell you. Feeling all right, Heck? Not too bad. Only thing I regret is not killing that fool horse I fell off. Hey, Teddy. That was some fine picking tonight, boy. Mighty fine. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Of course, now, it might make it just a little better if you just turn on your amp. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, by the way, what string you got broken there, boy? Is that the C, G, or D? <laughs> that, no, Let me have a look at that guitar, man. Hi. Um, you all right? Can I get you anything, Mr. Williams? No, no thanks, honey. I just want a minute alone by myself. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean you. I just, I just mean... Oh, yeah. What I could really use right about now is a little drink. Oh, I know what you mean, but I'm not supposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I've been hearing that since I was about 13 years old. <laughs> Guess you can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> oh, come on. You can't be any older than I am. Well, I sure feel a whole lot older. I just wish I could smile like the way you can. <laughs> well, I'm just curious. <laughs> I can't help smiling, <laughs> Well. Well, you, you know, you can smile, too, if you wanted to. Yeah, well, you just smile for the both of us, honey. Okay. Thank you. guitar against the steel before we go up again, make sure it's in tune. Yeah, I think so, down some. How are you, Hank? Not bad. First a bit flat there, buddy. Yeah, I can hear it. Sure could use a drink right now. Anybody got a drink? Can anybody hear what I'm saying? Not you never touch this stuff. I want a drink. I need a drink, and I want one right now. Hank, you don't need to stay. Don't tell me what I need. Okay, okay, I'll get you one. Thank God. Doc's acting up, ain't it? Doc, you're the only one that understands me. Mm. 
Now, don't that feel better? Yeah, it's a coming, dog. Just a pining for some human company, for some arms wrapped around him good and tight. Come on, you've been working all night, I see you. Come on, come on, sit down. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Teddy. <laughs> Rudy Tootie. Yeah, let's go. Can I get you a drink? Oh, no, thanks. Can I get you anything? Some peanuts or a glass of water? Well, it's real nice of you, but no thanks, man. Oh, my name's Betty Ann. Hank? Yeah, I'm Was you wondering when I was going to get around to asking you? <laughs> no, I, I was just telling you. You got five minutes. Later. You're getting nervous. Oh, no, about playing. About women sometimes. Wow. Bet you get all the women you want, don't you? Well, mostly I, I get all the women who want me. Oh, I don't mean you. I just want some company, you know. Yeah. Ready, Ann? Get your can out here. Well, I'll go now. Okay. It'll be all right. Oh, yeah. Say, uh, do you have a pray? Pray? No, not since I was a little girl. Why? You better hurry along. Your boss gonna skin you alive. No, nobody's ever gonna skin me alive. Seen a bit when he come out. You can't say that about him. What are you talking about? Come on, you're doing it. Come on, stop. Yeah, yeah, you're doing it. Well, that don't matter to me, man. Come on in. Bother me. I can't start my cleaning until all the folks are gone. Don't bother me, no. Here, try some of this, buddy. Go on, go on, try it. Twist it up. Sit down, sit down. Take a load off. Can't work, you might as well sit down. Well, I've been in the doghouse a dog on the lawn. When I get a kiss, I think that something's wrong. You know, my wife would say you got half the world on your shoulder. Oh, man, if she said that, she'd be dead wrong. I mean, what do I got to be sad about? I mean, I'm rich and I'm famous and I've got a pretty little wife, the cutest little boy you ever want to see. Money in the bank. Yeah, well, I got everything, man. <laughs> you know what I mean. 
Well, I remember when you were so nice and sweet, but something's changed. You'd rather fight than eat. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't you try this? Yeah. Oh, shoot, man. Come on. I bet you can let me do it. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Here, look, tell what I do. I'll take the, you take the guitar, I'll take the ball. Hey, just put it there. Play me something, man. I got one for you. All right. If the wife and I are fussing, baby, that's all right. Cause me and that woman got a license to fight. Why don't you mind your own business? Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Cause if you mind your business, then you won't be minding mine. The woman on our party lines, I know the old thing. She picks up her receiver when she knows it's a ring. Why don't you mind your own business? Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Cause if you mind your business. Thank <laughs> you. 
You can do it, Hank. Oh, come on, I ain't going to do that, no, huh? Sit down. Looks like your wife missed the bottle backstage, eh? <laughs> <laughs> He thinks he's taking care of me. <laughs> they all think they're taking care of me. Poor Hank. That's all I get. Poor Hank. Well, poor old Hank is paying his way in this world, I'll tell you that. And I'll stand him on two feet. Gracious me. Lonesome Luke the Drifter. He's out of control again. <laughs> Nobody's feeling too happy. <laughs> but you know that's the way you go like it. Everybody, everybody thinks they always want to hear happy songs all the time. I mean, if that's so, how come your cheating heart is out selling Rudy Tootie five to one? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because I feel the other side of life that much stronger. Maybe it's because most folks ain't sure they're alive unless they're hurting. <laughs> well, y'all gonna really love this next song because, boy, it's one of the most hurtingest songs I ever did write, and it's probably the one that more people have made hits out of than any other. I mean, it sure didn't hurt Tony Bennett none. <laughs> So hard, my dear, to say that you're my everything. Yeah, you're afraid each thing I do is just some evil scheme. My memory from your lonesome past keeps us so far apart. Oh, I can't. I Doubtful mind, I melt your cold. 
Another love before my time Made your heart sad and blue And so my heart is to you now For things I didn't do In anger on kind words are spoken That make the teardrop star Why can't I free your doubtful mind Melt your cold, cold heart Wish we'd get somewhere. She's taking me to the opera. We're getting closer. Sure am tired of all this driving. It won't be long now. It won't be long now, that's the truth. Not unless I straighten myself out real quick. Now, uh, where was I? Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's got a bigger mouth than Huey Long. <laughs> Bother me, son. Oh, man, I was telling you, we were talking about women, and I was telling you about my wife. Well, we become such good friends here tonight, I tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a flip side man, do you a little song I wrote, and tell you how I feel. Especially when I come in off the road off some long tour. So, uh, boys, can you give me that now? Okay. <laughs> But you know, one thing you learn when, you, when you're on the road all the time is how to handle a rowdy crowd. I mean, the only thing we found to do is to try to out rowdy them your own self. <laughs> this here is a song I always try to be about the best out rowdiest that I ever did. Right, I'm going to do it for you right now. Come on, boys. Let's do it. Oh, goodbye, too. We got to go be in my Because 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You know, that's about the closest I ever come to, to writing what y'all could call a Cajun song. I always like that kind of Cajun music every time we're, we're playing down there in Louisiana or thereabouts. Now, I was kind of worried at first that them Cajuns, they might not like it, but they seem to take to it right off. Uh, well, the first time we ever played up in Baton Rouge, they were throwing $20 bills right up on the stage. It's true. Of course, that ain't nothing like a Real Cajun two-step. I mean, that's the kind where, you know, the, the music gets a hold on your feet and there ain't nothing you can do about it, I'm telling you. But, I mean, the uh, music ain't meant to be talked about, right? So, uh, come on, boys, let's give the cheer crowd a, a listen to what a real old-fashioned Cajun two-step is like. Let her fly. Let her fly. <laughs> There's gotta be lights up ahead there somewhere. Rest. That's right. I'm sure we're lost. Sometimes I figure being on a roll all the time, playing these one-nighters week after week, you know, that's about as close to hell as you can get to on this earth. Well, maybe this way the good Lord will figure I already done my time and send me straight to hell. <laughs> oh, it might seem funny to you that a, a man that's lived the sort of life I've lived should be talking about heaven when all I really got a right to talk about is hell. But you know, Somewhere along the road, old Luke the Drifter, he got religion. Yes, sir. I mean, <laughs> there ain't that many things in this life that I'm positive about, but I know as sure as I'm standing right here that there's a, a God out there somewhere. Yeah. As I mean, this can't be all there is to it. If it all ends up in a pine box. You see, when I was just a little boy, my mama used to take me to revival meetings of the Sunday. She used to play the organ up at the Mount Olive Church, and, well, I used to sing in the choir. Then. But the thing I'd mostly like to do would be to listen to them gospel preachers of a Sunday morning, because they could preach the gospel. So their words would make your blood run cold. And I still hear the voice of them preachers calling out to me, talking about Jesus. Right now, my friends, I want to tell you about Jesus. I want to tell you about Jesus Christ. I want to tell you about Jesus Christ, the Savior, and I want to tell you about Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind. Hey! 
And I want to tell you about Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind, who lived on this earth. Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind, who lived on this earth and died on the cross. Hallelujah, brother. Amen. I want to tell you about Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind, who lived on this earth and died on the cross for you and your sins. Tell him, Hank. And I want to tell you about the burning fire of hell. The burning fire of hell that waits for you. And you, and you, yes, and you, I and you, me. unless you repent, Praise unless you Jesus. repent right now. Amen. Right now, on your hands and your knees, begging for forgiveness. God. Forgiveness for your miserable sins. But what I'm telling you about is pain. Amen. Pain and sorrow until the end of time. God love you, Brother William. And I want to tell you about joy. Joy happiness, tears of relief when you rush into the arms of your Savior. Hallelujah! When you rush from the pain and the sorrow and the Hallelujah. darkness into the blinding light, the blinding light of heaven. Let Can you imagine it? Oh, yes. Can you see the light? Yes. Can you see the light, Sandy, right there? Oh, yes. A light infinitely more powerful than the blinding rays of the Lord. sun, a beacon calling to you. The light streaming from the bleeding hands of Jesus. From the bleeding hands of Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind, who lived on this earth and died on the cross for you and your miserable sins. Praise Jesus. I wandered so aimless, life filled with sin. And I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. And then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Oh, I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more light. Thou art so happy, no sorrow.
Must I go all unremembered? Must I look still but turned away from me? Each day brings a fresh load of care, fresh misery to my heart. Must I ever be the sport of my enemies? Look upon me, O oh Lord my God. Listen to me. Give light to these eyes before they close in death. Do not let my enemies claim the mastery and my persecutors triumph over my fall. I cast myself on thy mercy. I saw the light. I saw the light. But you know, I tried so hard to give up looking for that light, but I just can't. That's all. I just can't. You'll meet many just like me, a long life's busy street, with shoulders stooped and heads bowed low and eyes that stare in defeat. Their souls that live within the past, where sorrow plays all parts. And a living death is all that's left to men with broken hearts. Life sometimes can be so cruel that a heart will break with it. Lord, why must these living dead know pain with every breath? Some lose faith in love and life when Sora shoots her darts. And with hope all gone, they walk alone, these men with broken hearts. Now you've never walked in that man's shoes or seen things through his eyes. Or stood and watched with helpless hands while the heart inside you dies. Some were paupers, some were kings, some were masters of the arts. But in their shame, they're all the same, these men with broken hearts. And even sleep brings no relief to all these men who curse their birth. They have no dreams of happiness in heaven or on earth. Well, how can men have faith in God when faith in man departs? And to those who weep, death comes cheap. These men with broken hearts. Well, that's all. I don't know what else to say except for good night and God bless you. Say a prayer for me. Happy New Year's, everybody.
Whoops, on fire, you're my gal and I'm your fella. Dress up in your frock and yeller. I look swell, but you look sweller. Sitting the what's on fire. We're taking all the honky tonks tonight. We're having fun. We'll show the folks a brand new dance that never has been done. I don't care who thinks we're silly. You be down me, I'll be dilly. We'll order up two bowls of chili, setting the woods on fire. I'll gas up my hot rod stoker. We'll get hotter than a poker. You'll be broke, but I'll be broker. Tonight we're setting the woods on fire. We'll sit close to one another. Up one street and down the other. Will we have a time, old brother? Setting the woods on fire. We'll put aside a little time to fix a flight or two. My tires and tubes are doing fine, but the air is Going through. I don't care who thinks we're silly. You be daffy, I'll be dilly. We'll order up two bowls of chili, setting the woods on fire. I'll gas up my hot rod stoker. We'll get hotter than. You'll be broke, but I'll be broker. Tonight we're setting the woods on fire. We'll sit close to one another. Up one street and down the other. Will we have a time, old brother? Setting the woods on fire. We'll put aside a little time to fix a flight or two. My tires and tubes are doing fine, but the air is showing through. You clap hands and I'll start bowing. We'll do all the laws allowing. Tomorrow I'll be right back plowing, setting the woods on fire.